welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I make scrunchies and bows. I've been doing so for 10 years now. In today's video, I'm going to be getting ready my March launch. And before I get too ahead of myself, please remember to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more content because I'll be posting more. Maybe not this month so much because I have 13 markets booked in in one month, which is insane. As per usual, tomorrow is the launch day. So I have to do quite a lot. I've got quite a big list of things to do. I really need to like sort of sit down and make a list, like one that I can print out and... So like a tick box one that's sort of the exact same for every month maybe i'll put that on my to-do list <laughs> all right so these are the ones i chose last month for this month so i ended up choosing all these i just chose so many and i ended up splitting them into two different lots because i did the easter launch which was more it was more yellows and greens because it sort of went more with the easter theme and i still need to promote all those easter items because easter is at, at the end of this month and then we got mother's day which i don't think is till is it May? A little while away, but because I have a very big international base, I guess, like a lot of people order internationally, I do want to give that like time to receive because I still have a one to two week processing time and then it could take like two weeks to receive, sometimes a little bit longer depending on where in the world they are. That could be like a month before people receive the items. So I want to just make sure that they are arriving in time. This month, it's looking very purpley, very pink. So I'll show you all the fabrics. Got a gingham. I don't know if it's linen. It could be like fake linen. It feels fake. Got like a chiffon. Really cute. Really light material in white and purple. This one has been on the website before. It's called, well, was called Laura. So I think I'll put this one back up in XLs. I feel like these sort of ones I'll do in regulars. I also really like this sheep one. It was so cute. Got this one, which has also been on the website before. But it hasn't been up for ages and I can't remember what I called that one because it was only up for, I don't know, two months or something. Got this one. It's like a very mauve colour, I suppose. It's a satin. This one I had up before. This one's called Norma. So I haven't got a lot of that one left, but that will be fine. I feel like I'll make a bow out of this one and minis and a scrunchie. This one I thought maybe was already up. Got one very similar. I think I got Poppy up, but not this one. So this one's a very similar one that I've, to what I've already got up. I don't know. It's still different, but it is very similar. So I do have that one. Sounds a maybe, I guess, because I do still have Poppy up and I've got so much left of Poppy. And then I have this Cats one. That's a Japan print that I haven't put up yet. And it's so cute. And then I got Freya, which again has been up before. I actually um, had to refund a customer because... What happened? I don't even know how this happened. When I redid the website and added all the new photos, I deleted most of my products. So I had like a thousand products up there in the previous years of doing all these launches and stuff. So I ended up deleting everything because it was just getting too much, uh, especially with like Inventora. It was so hard to get everything. And with Etsy, it was just complicated. It was kept picking up all the stuff that was deactivated and it was just really annoying. I ended up deleting almost all my products and restarting. And that was so scary for me, by the way, <laughs> but I did it. But I left a couple of the XLs in the drafts because they are ones that I might, you know, redo in the future. Like Freya, there was like ones that I had on clearance before and there was a couple others that I still had heaps of stock of, but the photos just weren't great and... Whatnot. So I was just like, I'll just leave those. I'll leave them in the draft though, because yeah, you know, I don't want to sell them and they, they won't go up nicely with the website. That was months before this even happened. I did did all the website. And then I don't know, probably six, seven months passed, and I received an order for Freya. And I'm like, why am I receiving an order for Freya? <laughs> when I don't it shouldn't even have been online for a start. Um so I went through and I had a look and yeah, it was active. And I have, it's not the first time I've heard Shopify doing this where it just, it activates some of the old listings. So now um, when I do it, I make sure that everything's to zero. So if it ever does it, you won't be able to purchase it. <laughs> but yeah, so I got a sale for it. And I looked, like at this point, I was still at mum's. Um, I hadn't bought the house yet. So all my fabric was in storage. I only had this stuff out. This bookshelf is all the stuff that I had online. And most of this was in storage or in tubs. And I could not for the life of me find Freya. And I was like, there's no way. I, like, I would have used all this fabric because I love this fabric. I just knew I hadn't used it all. But I had to refund the customer because I just could not find it anywhere. And yeah, obviously when I've moved again, done my whole setup, 
I found it. I think I actually ended up finding it like two months later when I was looking for another fabric and it was just stuck behind, like on top of another one, like in the boxes and it was just really hard to see. And I was just like, ah, Freya's back. And then I have this one, which again has been on the website. I'm, I'm thinking it was Eloise. How I know all these names, I have no idea. Um, I have very little memory space at the best of times, but for some reason I can remember 99% of the fabrics I own and what I called them. I don't know why. That's just the thing I do. Unless they're like super new or like they haven't been sold a lot. But I mean, I could probably name every single one in these ones that are actually online. And I could probably even name a lot of these because these have been online before, a lot of these fabrics. I'm thinking, yeah, for the charity ones, I'll just do scrap material ones this month. Because I just don't have the time to go into the op shops and have a look. Plus the op shops are so expensive. I don't know, have you guys been to op shops lately? Like I thought they were meant to be like, they're meant to be opportunity stores for people that, you know, can't afford these clothes, but they're selling like sheen clothes for more than sheen would even charge. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like massive industry, I swear, it's that needs revamping because there's just so much textile wastage. Now, yeah, I do want to like try and do a lot more research into it and like do fact checking and whatnot too. But yeah, it's very interesting. For the rest of this video, I'm going to be making the March launch and trying to take photos and stuff for tomorrow. So stick around for that. So I have a bit of a selection. I have petites, about five different ones of those. I've got four XLs, quite a few minis, quite a few uh, regular scrunchies. I have some key fobs in the scrunchie and the regular wristlet, and then I have some bows. So a few different types.
Hey guys, I finished my launch last night. I didn't really get back on though because I was half an hour late, I think. I don't think really anyone noticed, but that's okay. Um, I had a couple orders come through last night, which was really great. So thank you so much for everyone that did place an order. I am absolutely loving this collection. It's so pretty. Just lots of florals, pinks and purples. Really up my alley. So pretty. I particularly love this print. It just came out so, so sweet in a scrunchie. And I did this one in like the petite size and the mini as well. I just, I can't get over how pretty all these are. So gorgeous. Anyway, I'm going to get going. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.